Hello, my name is Glenn Becker with the Belleville Boot Company, and I'm here to speak with you today about a new exciting series from our Tactical Research Division. It's called the Mini Mill Series. As the name implies, Mini Mill is a series based on a minimalistic running platform. Now that may be an unusual and strange term for some of you, so let's talk a little bit about what minimalistic footwear is. Probably the genesis for minimalistic footwear began five or six years ago when a company named Vibram, or Vibram, they're an Italian-based company, they would say Vibram, created this shoe. Now many of you have probably seen this. They call this five fingers. And the theory behind this is that each of your toes in uh, biomechanically efficiency terms need to be able to spread out. And this is something that mimics barefoot running. And there's been a major trend now in minimalistic footwear and in barefoot running. If the name Vibram sounds familiar to you, it's because the Vibram people are also the premier outsole makers in the world. They've been a provider of outsoles to the Belleville Boot Company for over 40 years. So, for us, we began to get calls about a year ago from our customers in the military and law enforcement segments where we service the marketplace asking if we had any duty boots that were built on a minimalistic platform. And at the time, we didn't. But what we wanted to do was to join forces with Vibram and to learn more about what it took to build minimalistic footwear. So we borrowed from their expertise, and we were able to pull together a collaboration that developed a really great-looking series of shoes. Before we show the boots, I want to explain a little bit about minimalism and the, the, the positive effects it has on the biomechanical gait. This is a typical boot. This is one of our Belleville boots. And you can see it has a very thick, cushioned midsole. This midsole is roughly 45 millimeters in height. At the forefoot, this midsole is about 25 millimeters in height. The difference between this and this is referred to as drop. And that's about 20 millimeters of drop, which means that essentially you are sitting on a wedge when you're wearing this boot. Now, what proponents of minimalistic footwear say is that by sitting on a wedge, you are shortening the muscles in your lower back and in your, the back of your legs, your hamstrings, your calves, and your Achilles, and that you will become uh, much more biomechanically efficient and you will also reduce your risk of injury if you're able to stretch this muscles. So going back to the Vibram five fingers, you can see if I place this on the table that it is completely flat. There is no wedge. That is referred to as zero drop. So we have a couple of extremes here. Zero drop on a five fingers, 20 millimeters of drop on a typical military boot. What we did was find a comfortable place toward the zero drop, but not entirely zero drop. So what I'm holding here is the Desert Tan version of the Tactical Research by Belleville Mini Mill boot. This boot has five millimeters of drop. So that essentially means there's a slight wedge. We think that's a very comfortable place to be based on the research we've done and all the R&D that we've done on it. So let's take a look at the features of this boot, starting with the outsole. The first thing you see is that we're actually using a Vibram outsole. So not only did we collaborate with the Vibram Five Fingers development team to develop the boot, but we also utilize their expertise in rubber chemistry to provide a very long wearing, long lasting outsole. There's a lot of very neat uh, variations in the lug design here. Uh, you see an awful lot of 360 degree lugs that have sharp edges on them. There's a lot of surface material here, so slip resistance and grip will be excellent in this boot. And then as a tribute to our, uh, our friends at Five Fingers, you might be able to see the outline of some toes here on the outsole. But that's more of, a, uh, of an aesthetic touch than it is uh, perhaps anything that, that may be performance oriented. But it's a very high performance outsole. Now you may also notice the shape of this. It's, it's a very unusual shape. It's very wide. And that is, again, the thought process being that your toes need to spread out. So the last was very important. The last that we chose for this was very important. The upper itself is 
very basic. This is a full grain leather upper, flesh out, and we are using 1,000 denier ballistic nylon, so it's very durable nylon. The boot is completely unlined, uh, so it will be very, very lightweight. This boot is about 15 ounces, a half pair on a size 9R. Uh, so a, a pair of boots is less than two pounds on a size 9R. Uh, one of the other features that you'll notice is we do have some concern about ankle support. So there is a counter in this boot, which is this piece back here. This is what actually locks your ankle in and prevents rollover. You will also notice that we have two points of ankle protection. So the ankle is allowed to articulate, but you are getting support here and here from nylon webbing. Inside the boot, we have a very, very thin, basic EVA uh, insert. Now, in a lot of stories, these inserts tend to be thick, they tend to be cushioning, but that is not the goal of minimalism. Minimalistic footwear is about lowering yourself to the ground and improving your contact with the ground. So cushioning is not the primary element. This is there primarily for comfort, for moisture absorption, and for wicking. You see that we did put a clever little design uh, so that you can see that this is indeed uh, something that's modeled after the five fingers and takes some of our styling from the five fingers. But this is very thin, it's five millimeters, and again, it's intended more so for moisture management and wicking than it is for, uh, for shock absorption. There is within the outsole that you cannot see about three millimeters of an EVA foam that does provide some shock mitigation and also a little penetration mitigation if you're wearing the boot on the trail. Now the ideal use for this boot is in training. If you are familiar with minimalistic footwear, you will enjoy this boot because it will keep you in a boot that has that low drop, that four or five millimeter drop that you're accustomed to when you're training in your, your athletic footwear that's from the minimalistic category. So the boot is available in two colors. We did it for the law enforcement in black and also for the Army in the desert tan. Or for deploying troops in the Air Force, they are also allowed to wear uh, desert tan boots if their MOS uh, calls for. So basically, these two boots are available and uh, they are uh, very new to the category. We think we're the first people out with product like this and we're very pleased to present these to our customers. Thank you.